Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at an example where we have three different curves bounding a particular area and we're trying to find the area here that's bounded by the curves y1 equals 1 third x, y2 equals minus 7 third x plus 8, and y3 equals minus x. So the first thing we need to do is find where those curves, in this case straight lines, meet and we can do that by setting the equations equal to one another. When we set y1 equal to y2 over here, we can find that x equals 3. When we plug that in there, we find y equals 1. So the coordinates at that point is 3 and 1. And then to find this point where these two lines meet, we set y2 equals to y3, like we did over here. We solve for x, x equals 6, and that means that y equals minus 6 at that particular location. Also, we notice here that they also meet at the origin when x and y are equal to 0. That, that's when y1 equals y3. So the next thing we need to do is figure out how we're going to subdivide that area. And one thing we could do is we could draw a line straight down from there and divide this into two separate areas because on the left side, notice if I draw a DA, a small area element, that the entire distance from here to there the dA is defined by the upper line y1 and the lower line y2. Over here, when I draw a dA on the right side, notice that for the entire area here, the dA is defined by the upper line, which is y2, and the lower line, which is y3. And that's really what we're after in order to be able to integrate that. So we have two dA's. This first dA here for area A1, dA is defined as being the upper y, which is y1, minus the lower y, which is y3, times dx. And here, this dA is defined by the upper line, which is uh, y2, minus the lower line, which is y3, times dx. I'm running out of room there, but there we go. So there we have the two a's, or the two area elements, dA's, defined in terms of the y's, and I think I forgot the y1 here. So this is y1 minus y3. So now we can go ahead and integrate both of those areas. So this is a1, this is a2, and then we just simply have to add the areas together. So finding a1, a1, that's equal to the integral from, and we're going to integrate from x equals 0 to x equals 3, these are x limits, from 0 to 3, of the quantity y1 minus y3 times dx, and then we plug in what those are equal to, a1 is equal to the integral from 0 to 3 of y1, y1 is 1 third x, minus y3, and y3 is a minus x, so minus times a minus makes that a plus x, and that's times dx. That looks like a fairly easy integral to integrate, so let's go ahead and do that. This is equal to 1 third x squared over 2 plus x squared over 2. Actually, you know what, before I even do that, I just realized I can simply add those two together. So even making it easier, so this can be written as 4 thirds, this is 1 third plus 1, so that's 4 thirds times the integral from 0 to 3 of x dx. That makes it even easier. So this is equal to 4 thirds times x squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 3. Of course, when we plug in the lower limit, we don't get anything. Plug in the upper limit, we get uh, 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 3, that is equal to 6. So area 1 is equal to 6. Now let's find area 2. So let's circle that. All right, area 2 is going to be equal to the integral from x equals 3 to x equals 6. And the dA in that case is going to be, as we defined, y2 minus y3. So we have y2 minus y3 times dx. That's why these are x limits. So this is equal to the integral from 3 to 6. Now y2 is minus 7 thirds x plus 8. Minus 7 thirds x plus 8 minus y3, and y3 is a minus x, so minus times a minus is a plus x, the whole thing times dx, and again we can combine like terms, so this is equal to the integral from 3 to 6, minus 7 thirds plus 1 is minus 4 thirds, minus 4 thirds x plus 8 uh, times dx, and now we can go ahead and integrate, so this is equal to 
The first will be minus 4 thirds x squared over 2 plus 8x, evaluated from 3 to 6. So when we evaluate this, first of all, this cancels out. That becomes 2 over 1. And 6 squared is 36, divided by 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. That's a minus 24. And when we plug that in here, that's plus 48. Minus, when we plug in the lower limit, that would be 9 divided by 3, which is 3, times 2, which is 6. So that's a, a minus, because the minus here, minus 6. And we plug in the lower limit here, that's uh, 24. That's plus 24, like that. And now we need to simplify. So first of all, minus 24 plus 48 is a positive 24. And here it's minus 6 plus 24 is a positive 18, minus a positive 18, minus 18, so this becomes 6 as well. There you go, there's area number 2, there's area number 1, so a total is simply equal to a1 plus a2, in this case that was equal to 6 plus 6, which is equal to 12, and that's the total area bounded by those three lines. Now again, notice that you always want to set up your partitioning in such a way that the area element, dA, always has the same function at the top as at the bottom. Of course, if you set your dA in the horizontal direction, you want the same limits from left to right. We could have done that. We could have separated this from here, but it seemed like it was easier to do it like this. And so that's why I chose to do it that way. It makes it for easier integrals. And that's how it's done.